Hi guys, so welcome back to Graphic Workers video channel. Uh, in this video, we'll be learning how you can easily copy the appearance of any object from one artboard to another artboard or even inside the same artboard if you want to copy the appearance of one particular uh, element to the other element. It's quite simple and we'll be discussing about the shortcut for that as well. So uh, to begin with, let's say uh, we have these three artboards and we have uh, uh, this title and this description below it. And for some reason, let's say we, you want to change the appearance of this text that is below this title. So let's say you want to decrease the color uh, from 7070 to maybe this, right? So now to, to maintain the consistency in the design, you'll need to uh, change the value of these two descriptions also because these two layouts are, are, are a series of the first one. So basically, uh, I want to copy the appearance of this one to this and to this. So this is quite simple. Uh, what If you don't know this shortcut yet, what you would be doing is you'd be seeing this color and you may or you may you may not be uh, adding this color to your favorites and then uh, going to this particular uh, layer in the in this particular artboard and then selecting the color choose a color picker and from here you'll be changing the color but uh, let's uh, revert the changes so if i want to do it quickly and i have a lot of fields a lot of uh, layers that I want to replicate this particular appearance to. What I need to do is I'll, I'll just use a shortcut uh, that is uh, for this for this particular layer from where I, I need to copy the appearance. Uh, I'll just click on this layer. Uh, control click this layer to select this layer then command C or control C on Windows to just copy this layer and instead of just pasting what I'll be doing is uh, instead of just uh, doing command V uh, what I'll be doing is I'll do command option or command alt V. So in that way, I'll be able to replicate the appearance of this thing from this thing to this thing. Uh, so I'm just pasting the appearance instead of pasting the actual file from here to here. I'm just pasting the appearance. So the shortcut is control C from the original layer and uh, control alt V or command alt V options V on Mac for the changes to happen. So let's do this to this one also. So let's say command option V. So you can see the change. So it takes very less time and it is very effective in uh, doing the design when you have a little bit of change required for any of the artboards uh, at any given point of time. Okay, so it, it works on a lot of things. So even if I can go to this slide and if I, uh, let's say change the font itself, right? And uh, maybe uh, change the spacing between these lines, right? And uh, maybe uh, change the color to let's say this blue color. Okay, and uh, maybe make it all bold. Uh, this font I'll choose variants, right? So let's say I'm not happy with the appearance of this thing, but just for the tutorial sake, I'll just keep it like this. So I'll just press Command C or Control C on Windows, and I'll select this one, this layer by uh, so the shortcut to select just this layer directly is uh, place my mouse on top of it and press Command or Control on your keyboard and click on it, left click. So by that uh, this particular la layer gets selected, and now I'll press Command Option V or Command Alt V on Windows, and you can see the font, the text is same, but the appearance of the particular font has changed completely, completely. And it is taking everything from this master layer. So similarly, I can do the same thing here also, right? So this is how easily you can manage to uh, copy the appearance of any element. So it it just uh, it it's not a, uh, a, a shortcut that is specific just for uh, text layers or fonts only. So if you if you want to change this uh, appearance of the let's say the button, right? So generally you might be using a component for the button, but in case you're not using a component, what you can easily do is, let's say I change the color from this to maybe a little bit purple, right? So now same thing, command C, I'll just select 
uh, this thing and press command or tweet and it will change the appearance of that box okay okay but okay i have a little problem with my keyboard so yeah so same thing right same just the way it works here so uh, to extend extend its abilities i'll show you one more thing so if uh, this box is a curved edge box right we have a cur curvature of 14 pixels so let's say i reduce it to zero and now if i command c or control c on this box and i select this one and i'll just uh, replicate the appearance then uh, this way keyboard is all key is not working properly this yeah so this way you can see the uh, the curvature from this box is also gone so it replicates both the things so there are a lot of appearance things that happen here that can be replicated very easily on different layouts and all those things so if you if you got to learn anything new from this video please do like and subscribe to the channel and uh, if you want to learn on any of the specific tips that you have seen anywhere and you're not sure how to reach out to that thing uh, you can put it put it in the comment box and i'll definitely try to create a video on that thanks for watching have a good day